Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today I am so excited to be bringing you my styling my utility room video. I've recently done a big before and after for my basement tour renovation type thing and today I thought I would actually style up and focus on the utility room. I do need to give it a bit of a clean first and then I've got a couple of things that I've been keeping to one side to be able to put in there along with moving a few bits down like cleaning products and things. So yeah that is on today's agenda. I thought I would bring you guys along with me. So today I've just got up, had a nice long dog walk, grabbed a coffee, got back showered, washed my hair and you may have seen I was using a brand new hair tool to dry my hair. So this guys, let me introduce you to the Zuvi Halo hair dryer. It's so lightweight and so like modern and sleek looking. How cool does this look? It's actually really powerful. In fact, let me plug it in and show you. So not only does it blow air, which is cooler than your regular hair dryer, so it's less damage for your hair. It also uses light technology. So it's got the different functions on the um, handle there that you can see. So you've got um, care, fast, soft, and style. And then if you hold down that button as well, it blows out cooler. So if you're wanting to set a style and then the on off here. So listen, like, <laughs> I will just briefly show you the attachments it comes with as well. So they're magnetized, they clip on really easily. There's this one for sensitive scalps, you use it with the fast mode. There's this one for those who like to straighten their hair. This is with the style mode, you can use that one. And then this is the diffuser, which actually Tom uses this one. It's for, um, with the fast mode. And it's just for like setting curls because he has naturally really, really curly hair. So the light care technology that it uses essentially works by drying the water on the surface of your hair, therefore leaving like the core on the inside of your hair um, healthy and happy essentially because heat damage, as we know, is a real thing. So think of it more like air drying your hair on a walk at a much faster rate. So with it locking in that moisture internally, it also helps create a smoother and shinier finish to your hair and obviously prevents further damage. So not only does it have all the benefits for your hair, but it also is a more sustainable option. It uses a lot less heat, which like I said, not only is better for your hair, which I also have to say in this summer heat has been a godsend to not have like that super hot, intense heat when drying your hair. This has been brilliant for that. Just for a comparison, most hairdryers tend to reach about 60 degrees Celsius, whereas this one is 44. But the amount of energy saved in a lifetime of using this hairdryer over a traditional one equals the same equivalent as planting a tree. That's how um, much more of a sustainable option it is. There was a fact that they actually told me when I was researching this brand and it baffled me. It's the second, like typically your hairdryer is the second largest power consumption in your home, twice the power of a microwave insane. So if you wanted to make that change, if you want to try it out, I highly recommend you do. I will leave a link to it in the description box below where you can shop through. And I will also leave a discount code for you guys to so make sure to take advantage of that. All the information will be left in the description box. And if you do have any other questions, by all means, let me know. So let's just jump straight into things. I'm going to start by actually cleaning the utility room first before I then play around with styling it. And of course, ending the video with showing you the end result. If you haven't already, grab a drink, put your feet up, light the candles, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Pretty all the time, doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better. If I want. 
Okay, now that all the cabinets and sink and wet areas are clean, I just have a little mark on this worktop, which was from when they fitted it. Um, if I just show you closer up so you can see. It's only minor, but you can tell it's kind of like a pencil mark from where they've drawn out to cut the sink. The company that fit it recommended to use either the pink stuff or Barkeeper's Friend. You can either make it into a paste or just pop it on a sponge with some water. This does have a bit of an abrasive side as well, this sponge, so I thought I would use this one from B&M. So it's like a powder, if you can see there. And see how we get on with this. Definitely getting rid of that like longer bit there with a bit around the sink. Just have to work a little bit extra on. And there we go guys. Just like that. It's gone. Feel your arms around. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah, should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time? I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You're never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Okay, next time I'm going to start styling up some of the worktops. I've got this from Home Bargains. This is $3.99. It's a huge... Was it $3.99 or $2.99? I think it was $3.99. But it's a huge cookie jar, which I thought would look quite nice styled up in this utility space. With I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to um, style these yet, because I think I've got a smaller one upstairs, which I might stack next to it. I'm not sure. But I'm thinking of popping it there with maybe these tumble dryer balls in. I got these from Steamery on Amazon. And yeah, they're just 100% wall balls. But now that we've got a tumble dryer, we can actually use these. So to have them to hand, I think that not only is this kind of styling purposes, it's out on display, but it's also quite practical. It's kind of bugging me that there's only four. For now, that'll do just there. I am going to keep this bag because I feel like it's quite handy to have a little drawstring canvas bag just for storage purposes. these two cupboards down here and the ones above it for kind of dog related things hopefully just these two because this one does go quite deep in in there the only thing is is because it's a bit more awkward to get around there i only want to put like excess stock or things that i don't need as often at the back Everything 
So after having a good long faff around, he's got his nice new mat and bowls on the floor, haven't you? We do still obviously pretty much live upstairs and not fully down here yet, so I haven't actually filled it with water or anything. But moving forward, as soon as we've got the freezer down here, which is on order, I'm going to move all of his food down here and have down here as a space where he can eat and drink. This is the finished look of the utility room. So. I've tried to keep it fairly clean and minimal and neutral while still styled um, and kind of homely. I will just say though, I do still have quite a few bits to like bring down, sort through, organize in our like storage containers and everything. So the cupboards aren't full, um, but I do have more things to pop in them. But anyway, let's talk you through. Let's start with the dog wash station. The dog wash station is kind of a custom built design that we did with our builders. The reason for why it is as high as it is, is because under here, which you can see a little hidden hatch here, is the, the kind of uh, sani floats called, which is um, the kind of plumbing system for the bathroom which is through there obviously this and any kind of like sink waste and everything so because we are below ground level below the mains level it needs that to be able to pump it up and out because it doesn't go down and out like normal gravity would would do I've done a full basement renovation tour not too long ago where i do talk through all of the tiles and everything like that but if i do miss anything out in this video go check that one out or leave me a comment below and i will try and link everything for you so the tiles are tops tiles those ones on the base are mandarin stone they're leftover ones that were from my bathroom the top floor which is casa grande in ivory which i don't believe they do anymore the handheld shower and valves are from colebrook and i got them from plum base in bramall then we've got this little rustic antique wooden stool which i've just thrown on top a um little zara home cloth and this zara home boot brush then the units themselves are from howden's and the sink tap is also from colebrook plum base bramel and then in terms of the styling i have this beautiful urn which it's like a ginger jar which i've just popped some dried eucalyptus in from inspirations wholesale again i just recently did a full wholesale come shop with me which you'll have seen those in this I can't find the Instagram shop I got it from. So if if you know who you are who sent this to me quite a while ago, if you've changed your business name or something, just please let me know. It was Derive Homewares before. Um, but yeah, I can't find them on Instagram anymore. So if you've changed your name and you used to be Derive Homewares, please reach out and let me know so that I can give you a mention for this and tag you guys. And then in this cupboard here, I wanted a dedicated candle storage cupboard. So I now have this. Obviously, like I say, a lot of the shelves are still empty, but in here, I've just got some spare white company products. And then in this cupboard, I've got some candles, reed diffuser, oils. I do have some oils upstairs in a basket as well. So I'm actually going to pop them within that basket and then in this cupboard. Some room sprays. I've just used this one from Zara Home and Green Herbs and it was lovely. So I'm going to use that a lot more often. Obviously, my fir tree is my Christmas. In here, in fact, I'll open it and show you. I store all of my wax melts. So I've got lots of spare wax melts in here. As you guys know, I rave about these ones from Asda, the Cuddle Up Tonka and Oud. If you haven't tried it, please try it. It's incredible. And then next to this box of wax melts, I do actually have a spare wax melt burner from the candle collection. I've got a little wicker basket up here from Primark Home. It's actually empty, but again, I might keep that there to pop some room sprays in or oils uh, depending on how many I've got once I've gone through them all but yeah this is just a, a taster of my collection of candles and in the bottom cupboards I'm going to keep this one for all of Barney's kind of grooming products of which I've got a couple in there already and uh, all like kind of pet related products and then in here I'm going to keep the bottom section for all of Barney's bits but then the top section I thought was quite handy because of the height of it as well to have as a vase storage 
I always feel like it, they just take up so much space, there's nowhere to ever put them. So now that I have a dedicated section, and this is kind of a hard to reach cupboard, so it's one of those things that I can put away and only ever get out whenever I need to. So that is gonna be predominantly vases at the back of maybe even both of those, and then all of the dog bits at the front. And then under the sink, I have all of the spare clean dog towels, and I do have a basket upstairs with some spare tea towels in, so I'm gonna pop that in um, the basket and then put the basket there as well. I do have this tea towel just thrown over the Belfast sink, which is from m and I really like the kind of color and texture to this one. And and then for the sink kind of display itself, I've just got some Neptune Rosemary and Time Washing Up Liquid and the White Company Sea Salt Hand Wash and Hand and Nail Cream. And then for now, for styling the shelves, I'm probably gonna switch all of this up seasonally. Same with the actual worktops itself. So do stay tuned for an updated version in autumn because I think I'm gonna switch things up quite a bit and use this space to be able to do that and have a bit of creativity. But for now, I've just popped this Acacia wood lidded jar combination. This one's actually from Matalan and I've just got in there some uh, tumble dryer sheets, which I'm gonna buy some more of to fill that out. And then I've got another spare one, which I can use, maybe pop some powder in there with a little wooden scoop or something. And then on the top, I have my Neptune Rosemary and Time Laundry Detergent, Ironing Water and Fabric Conditioner. I am typically the sort of person that would say it's just display only, however, I am actually, my plan is to get through all of the um, laundry stuff that I have got first and not just use this for display, but actually use it. And then I can always just refill them if I want to keep them out on display because I do love the look of the bottles. They're glass, like an amber glass, just a real warm tone. Same with the acacia wood and the warm linen in the napkin. I just wanted to bring some warmer tones to the gray cabinets which are Fairford Dove Grey from Howden so I just wanted to warm it up because if you know me I'm not typically a grey kind of person and um, same with the wooden stool it's just adding in those natural textures and warmer tones that helps warm the grey if that makes sense. Then in here is gonna be my cleaning cupboard. I just have a few products here at the moment. My trusty Dunelm collection of products, which I just think look lovely on display. They've got a whole range of different ones. And then also back there, there's a multi-floor cleaner from Zara Home and the Black Oud Rituals. In fact, I can actually probably put that in my other cupboard doesn't really need to go in that one. It could do with going in this with all the room sprays. So yeah, that can stay in there for now. And then I have this tub here, which just contains um, wipes, household surface wipes. A Zaflora, I do have more Zafloras than this, so I'm gonna, again, rearrange and categorize and organize everything, but I just thought I'd put the warm cinnamon one there for now so that I know this kind of my dedicated area for like, the floors and things, I've got multi-surface cleaner from Zara Home. I could actually pop that behind that one, maybe there we go. And then I've got spare washing up liquid from Zara Home, which I'll use once the either kitchen is done or once I've worked through that. And then also a hand sanitizer up there too. And then on this worktop, I just have this cookie jar. Again, I have another spare one, which again, I could just pop some. In fact, let me know your suggestions, what you think I should pop in these little ones. I don't want like laundry pods that are bright blue or anything. So anything that's maybe like laundry detergent with a little scoop in I could put in or something else that you think that I, oh, in fact, I could put some like maybe wooden pegs in. That could be quite handy and look quite nice. Anyway, this drawer is the miscellaneous drawer with all the leftover stuff from the builders. I didn't want to throw anything away just in case we need it. So I'm going to have Tom go through that and just make sure before I actually clean that out and use it properly. And then this cupboard, again, is just pretty much empty. It's the only space that I could um, fit in this canister so I might even switch that canister out and pop it somewhere else because and maybe just like leave it in the kitchen rather than utility because none of the cabinets are tall enough 
for this. Um, but for now, I've just got some Lenore Unstoppables in there. This might actually be the kind of laundry cupboard with it being right next to the washing machine, which is the less aesthetically pleasing cupboard and more practical one, which at the moment I have it up here. So I am gonna move those down actually now that I've talked myself into doing that. See if I've just got those, like a spare kitchen roll, laundry pods, wipes, and fabric softener. And then I've got this Neptune bag, which just has a load of like spare carrier bags for when I run out the door and need to grab one. Then we have our washer and dryer stacked with a stacker system from Argos. This is about 40 pounds and it's got this drawer, which is brilliant for when you're bringing out your clothes from the tumble dryer, you can just fold them, use that as a like a folding tray and um, it, put your basket there, bring everything out. It's honestly so convenient. So that is the washer dryer stacker system. The washing machine is from Medea. The tumble dryer is from Sharp, which I got on AO. He honestly absolutely loves it down here. I think he really likes sleeping on this cold floor. But anyway, this is the other side where we've got his bowls, radiator, this is gonna be the kind of drying rack station for any kind of clothes that can't go in the tumble dryer. Once we've got the heating plumbed in, we still don't have it plumbed in yet. We're actually getting that done tomorrow. So by the time this video is up, it'll already be done. But for now, these are all not in use. And then this cupboard here, again, because we are living upstairs, I have all of Barney's things to hand up there, like his lead and collar and everything. But eventually, once we've moved out of that ground floor to allow them to renovate it, keeps going in and out of focus because there's nothing really for it to focus on. But yeah, this cupboard um, we will be using for all of his like leads and collars and things that we just need to hand for when running out the door. So again, I'll probably move that Neptune bag in there with some spare um, carrier bags in, his poo bag container, just all the kind of storage for the dog stuff for just practical dog things. So I'm going to organize and do all that probably at a later date in a kind of house updates vlog or something once we've actually moved down here and need that. We are still yet to get any kind of carpet fitted. We're still in talks with a couple of people for quotes and trying to decide what to actually even do with these three stairs. Um, so yeah, bear with. I'll update you guys once that's sorted. But that is pretty much where we are at with the utility room. So let me know what you think of my little styling things that I have done to make this utility feel a bit more homely, a bit more lived in. I, again, like I said, do have lots of things to add to it. So stay tuned for future vlogs. As for now, that is it. I will just briefly show you as well in this storage room. Um, this is going to be, well, we've got freezer on order to go here for Barney's food. That should be delivered soon. And then this is gonna be an area where I keep all of the like ironing board, Hoover. This is actually an ironing board cover that I got from Zara Home. So I've just popped that in there for now. Mops, everything like that, which needs to be like kind of freestanding. Then we can just close this door to it so that you can't see it, but it's all gonna be organized within there. And then in here, it's more of like the organized room where we've got all the kind of Christmas decorations to go in. We've just built these from Amazon. These really handy storage uh, shelves. Loads of space above them actually. So I think we can put the Christmas decorations on top, like the Christmas tree and everything. And then more convenient things to grab here on the shelves that we can actually reach. So I've got some clear tabs. I'm probably gonna buy some more because I want them all to be clear so that we can actually see what's in them as well as labeling them up. And then on this side, there's actually a cupboard here, which I'm going to use for the kind of smaller things, you know, the kind of knick-knacky things. So I've got these clear tabs from Cherries, which I'm just gonna put, um, they actually fit perfectly in here. So I've got, I'm gonna get one more of this size so that, cause at the minute I've only got three. So I'm gonna get one more to go there and there. And then I've got three of those tabs. So I'm gonna put, I don't think two of them will fit side by side. No, they won't. So actually three will be fine. Cause I'll put one there, one there, and then one on the top shelf. And that's, that's everything. So let me just close this too. Move out of the way, Barney. Good boy. So there we have it, guys. We've just come upstairs for for a bit this afternoon just to get on with some work. But um, that is how our utility is currently looking. Any other finishing touches or things that I change around, I'll probably keep you guys posted over on my, um, or like within my vlogs 
and my Instagram homeware page, Afro Farrington Home, if you don't already follow. So thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and do give it a thumbs up if you have so that I know. And if you haven't already, it would mean so much if you would subscribe to this channel. Thank you again to Zuvu for very kindly, firstly sending me and introducing me to their Halo hairdryer, but also to um, them for working with me on today's video. Very, very grateful. Definitely recommend, link in the description box. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.